بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم کاشی انٹیگرل تیورم ورسس کاشی انٹیگرل فارمولا ان دس لیکچر وی شل لرن دی یوز آف کاشی انٹیگرل تیورم اینڈ کاشی انٹیگرل فارمولا وائل سالونگ اے پرابلم آئی ایم کنفیوز دیٹ ون آئی ہیو ٹو یوز the Cauchy integral theorem and when I have to use the Cauchy integral formula. So in this lecture we shall clear that confusion. First of all let us see the statements of these two results. Cauchy integral theorem. In my previous lecture we have studied that if we are given a function f of z which is analytic for all points inside and on a closed simple curve C. In other words, if there is no singular point of the function f of z inside this curve C or on the boundaries, then this integral will vanish. And now let us see the statement of Cauchy integral formula. If we are given a function f of z such that this function f of z has a singular point inside the closed curve or on the boundary, then of course I cannot use the Cauchy integral theorem. So what I have to do? I have to use the Cauchy integral formula. And in that case, I will split this, that function f of z into two parts. I will take one part to the numerator and the other part to the denominator. The part which is a function in the numerator, now that function must be analytic for all points inside or on the boundaries of this closed curve. In other words, this function which is in the numerator will have no singular point inside this curve. And in that case, this integral must be equal to 2 pi iota and we have to put that point z0 which is in the denominator inside the function g of z. So we will get g of z0. And you can see that of course f of z is not analytic, but the function which is in the numerator that is analytic at all point inside or on the boundaries. So now let us solve a problem. In this problem we will take two domains. So let us see the statement. Evaluate the integral log of z plus 1 over z square plus 1. But in the first part, this curve C is a circle of this form. And the second part, this curve C is a circle of this form. And you, you can see that the radius, this radius is different from this one. So let us start from the solution. To solve the first part, first of all, we know that we have this circle z minus 2 iota is equal to 1 over 2, which is a circle. From this circle, we can see that the radius is 1 over 2, and we need the center of this circle. So to find the center of this circle, we will put this equal to 0. So z minus 2 iota is equal to 0 implies that z is equal to 2 iota. This 2 iota can be written as 0 plus 2 iota. And in the form of point, we can write that the x coordinate is 0 and the y coordinate is 2. Now we have to draw this circle. So if I draw the circle 
I will get this is a real axis this is imaginary axis the center is 0 comma 2 y x is 0 and y is 2 so let this is 1 and this one is 2 so this one is 3 1 2 and 3 so the center of this circle is this one and the radius is half so half this is half this is half so if I draw the circle I will get a circle like this one now let us take the function so our function f of z is this one so we have f of z f of z is equal to log of z plus 1 divided by z square plus 1 and this can also be written as log of z plus 1 divided by if I factorize I will get z minus iota into z plus iota so now I have to find the singular points of this function to find the singular points we have to put the denominator equal to 0 so we have to put z minus iota into z plus iota equal to 0 from this we can get two point z is equal to iota and the other one is z is equal to minus iota from this you can see that this is actually 0 plus iota so in the form of a point this is 0 comma 1 and this one is z is equal to 0 minus iota in the form of a point we can write this is 0 comma minus 1 now let us draw these two points on the graph so z 0 comma 1 x is 0 y is 1 this point is z is equal to iota or in other word this is 0 comma 0 comma 1 and z, z is equal to minus iota so this point is here this is minus iota so this point is z is equal to minus iota or we can say this is 0 comma minus 1 now you can see that this function f of z has two singular points but both of these singular points are outside of the circle of the closed curve of the given closed circle in other words this function has no singular point inside the circle and if it has no singular point then in that case we can use the Cauchy integral theorem so by the Cauchy integral theorem we can say that integration of this function f of z which is log of z plus iota divided by z square plus 1 dz will vanish this is equal to 0 and this is the required solution now let us see the second part in the second part we have a circle of this form so let us start the solution we have from part 2 again we have to find the radius in this case the radius is 2 and the center is same z is equal to as we have obtained this is 0 comma 2 so again we have to draw this circle so the graph is like this one now let this is 1 let this is 2 this is 3 and this is 4 so the center is again here the center is 0 comma 2 but the radius is 2 radius mean its radius will be here will pass from this place so 
to draw the circle we can draw a figure like this one so this is now a circle whose radius is 2 and now let us see the function the function f of z is again the same log of z plus 1 divided by z minus iota into z plus iota if we draw this point you can see that z is equal to iota is this point which is inside the circle so it means this function now has a point z is equal to iota which is inside the circle so i cannot use the cauchy integral theorem now what i have to do i have to split this function into two parts i have to take the other part like log of z plus iota divided by z z plus 1 log of z plus 1 divided by z plus iota and whole divided by z minus iota now in this case in this case this is our g of z this is a function g of z and you can see this function has no singular point here because z is equal to minus iota lies outside the given close curve so in that that case i have to use the cauchy integral theorem which says that g of z divided by z minus iota iota is now z naught is equal to 2 pi iota g of iota so i have to put values in this formula which is equal to 2 pi iota and g iota this is our function g of z just replace z by iota we will get that this is log of iota plus 1 divided by iota plus iota which is 2 iota and this 2 will cancel with this one iota will cancel with iota and this is the required answer or in the other way you we know that log of z is equal to log of r plus iota theta so you can even simplify this a little more so if i simplify this i will get log of r r is under root 2 plus iota theta theta is tangent inverse 1 which is pi by 4 and this is the required solution that is all.